While few people use piggy banks nowadays, their image continues to elicit fond memories of childhood. Placing a coin into a piggy bank teaches the importance of saving, as well as the anticipation of breaking it open when it's full. For one man in Taiwan, collecting piggy banks has become something of an obsession, which has consumed much of his time and personal wealth. Our Sunday In-Depth report. This is 64-year-old Liu Guangbing, who owns Taiwan's largest collection of piggy banks. It currently numbers 3,321. He has piggy banks that are of the traditional porcelain variety, as well as those fashioned after cartoons, cats, postal workers, soldiers, and firemen. He has piggy banks in virtually every imaginable shape and size. Liu's heaviest piggy bank is this 3.4 kilogram dragonfish. As for which piggy bank can hold the most coins, it's this old-fashioned wooden car. Liu's tallest piggy bank is a replica of the Tokyo Skytree. 500元的铜板几个? 64万4000个 Liu has been collecting piggy banks for 20 years. As he shows us his collection, he's very careful. Half of the more than 3,000 piggy banks he has came from overseas. I definitely buy them when I travel abroad. I usually make five or six overseas trips for work each year. Asked why he is drawn to collecting piggy banks, Liu's answer may surprise you. One of my classmates collected teapots. Every time I would visit him, he would just ramble about them. I thought to myself that I should begin collecting something. From the first piggy bank that he collected to the 3,321st, Liu definitely has a few favorites. With just a quick glance, he is able to easily tell the origins of each. This one is from Latin America, which I can tell from the bold style. If you visit Latin America, you will see that their houses are painted in bold colors, and each is quite different. Liu is also able to date each of these piggy banks from just a quick glance. I can tell immediately that this one is from the 1930s. This is because the slot is quite small. Only dimes can be inserted. Anything larger won't fit. Cracks reveal the age of the ceramic piggy bank. And there's this mechanical piggy bank. These were produced starting from the 18th century in the United States. The United States became independent in 1776. This was during the 18th century when the Industrial Revolution was underway. More objects became mechanical. has around 300 small piggy banks, which are actually pigs. He has collected piggy banks from almost every country. Many people ask me who produces the best piggy bank. I've thought about this question for a long time and still have no answer. Pigs are common and their shape is similar to vessels used to store coins. This may be why we frequently choose to use the image of a pig. is the boss of one of the few companies in Taiwan that still continues to manufacture piggy banks. Pig is a lucky animal. It even looks like it will bring you good luck. Each week, Lin visits the toy store on Tainan's Anping Street to replenish stock. As fewer children buy piggy banks, this traditional industry has suffered. A few merchants have still managed to survive, however. Lin displayed this unusual bank from the 1960s. This type requires a key to open. It was usually given as a gift by banks. Afterwards, people who saved money in it could take it to the bank, which had a key to open it. The money would then be put into the bank. It was a type of special promotion. 
Aside from banks, temples and social groups also distributed piggy banks as souvenirs to members or devotees. This was done with an eye toward increasing donations. Among Liu's collection, there are many piggy banks that he bought secondhand. One has to get to this flea market early. Most shops are eager to sell on the first day, so it's easier to bargain. For Liu, collecting is a treasure hunt that takes him overseas and throughout Taiwan. He frequently takes photos of piggy banks he sees to keep permanent records. While most people purchase piggy banks to save money, this collector and this manufacturer have an altogether different take on this common item. For them, piggy banks are a kind of personal obsession.